get this rod out, I'll tell you what I'm doing today. Well, good morning. Welcome back to the Dango's Outdoors YouTube channel. If you're new around here, thank you for tuning in today and uh, feel free to subscribe. I do videos almost every Sunday morning, that's what I try to do, so that's what you get in return. And anyway, today I'm out on uh, a local stretch of river and I'm trying to catch some big perch. Uh, it's something I've been doing for a couple of sessions now. Um, I was on a commercial last week and I did get a couple of two pounders, so I was pretty happy with that, that was, uh, that was good. Uh, in the meantime though, I follow a couple of local Facebook groups and that and I saw that quite a few big perch were coming out down this stretch and uh, what I decided to do was leave it a week uh, this is something I've spoken about in uh, before on the channel that um, there's loads of information out there at the moment with uh, social media and things and you know I'm part of it making YouTube videos as well and sometimes you got to think well what should I do with this information and um, being that big perch you know they're a predator they can be quite a sensitive fish as well uh, I've decided to give it a week I've also decided to set up what what I think is above where those fish were caught not directly on top of them and uh, give it a go see if they're still down here uh, they might not be conditions have changed a lot since that time and yeah a week has passed but we'll give it a go I've still got some worms left over from last week and um, just got a quiver tip out at the moment I was going to get a float going but as you can probably see and hear no doubt the sound is terrible <laughs> it's really windy today so I don't know if we'll get the float going or not but anyway one rod out let's just see what happens Well, I've tried here for a good hour, hour and a half, cast around the swim, twitch my worm around, and um, yeah, nothing's happened. I think I've got one bang, so I'm gonna move swims, try one downstream, and just keep working my way down to see if I can find these fish. Okay, spot number two. I'm gonna start close and work my way further out, I think, this time. Nothing here either, so time for another move I'm afraid. <laughs> really thought I would have got into contact with something, you know, just fishing a worm on a river, you all sorts of species can take that, so I'd expect to get some action. But nothing, so better get on my toes, I think. Okay, swim number three, and the sun's coming out. Not great for perch, but nice for me. Yeah, 
That's the biggest perch I've ever seen. I don't know how much he caught of that because I just had to run down there and sort the fish out. I'm going to hook it, put it in the margin, sort everything out. God, it's huge. Oh. So, <laughs> so as you can see, I've used my net and my bank stick to secure the fish in the margins there. Get my mat and everything sorted. This is a monstrous perch. It's got to be a PB. My official PB is 214. Uh, I think I've had one over three pound that I caught spinning once with my mates, but I had no sling or scales or anything with me, of course. But this is big. So it's been resting in the net for a while. I'll give you a quick show of it first. Estimates now, please. So what are we saying? That's got to be a three. Oh, it's massive. Right, come on. <laughs> Get a weight on it, then stare at it. It's four pounds. I'm giving myself bang on four. Maybe even four pound one. He's right. Bang on four. We'll go bang on four. Weighed it twice. Four pounds every... I've caught a four pound perch. Oh, four pound perch. That's a four pound perch. I can't say anything. It's four pounds. I can't stop looking at it. It's enormous. It's enormous. It's just huge. It's four pounds. It's actually got a weird circular mark there. And I actually suspect that that's a lamprey latching onto its gill, gill plate there. That's a four pound perch. Shoot. I just, <laughs> get it close, you can see all of that. Let's have a look at it. All right, I'll have to get a couple of pictures. I'm just gonna walk this fish a little ways up the bank here to where we were fishing before. Um, I've experienced it in the past where I've put big perch back on top of other ones. It does seem to slow the action down a little bit. So I'll pop it back up here, but not too far. Uh, I'll explain why in a moment. But I've never not wanted to put a fish back more in my life. I just can't stop looking at it. It's enormous. It's, it's so big. The width on it is incredible. Oh yes. Love it when they kick. Big fish like that, you know it's gonna go back strong. Right, come on then. I've caught a four pound perch. I've never even weighed a three pound perch. <laughs> oh man, let's get that rod back out. Okay, another worm on. I'll, uh, I'll show you the rig in the setup later. Um, it's actually my dad's rod. <laughs> He's not fishing the UK for, God, it must be a couple of years now. Oh, it's windy. But I thought I'd borrow it. <laughs> Do 
just missed one. I'll get it back in now, else that bit of worm's all jacked up. Perfect. Right then, my third attempt of actually talking to you guys after putting that perch back. Uh, so I put it back a little bit further upstream just so it's not uh, spooking the rest of the fish here but not too far away because uh, there's no doubt in my mind that these fish are gathering up potentially ready to spawn. Um, I think they're still a little bit off it though because it's been such cold weather recently. You know, last Thursday I was on a pond and it was still frozen over so um, yeah I think they're a little bit behind. Pike spawn first then perch and I know the pike haven't spawned yet because I know where they spawn and I haven't seen it happening. So that stands to reason that we're maybe a week or two off perch spawning. And I did sort of say to myself before I started, if I do catch a big perch today and it's a bit washed out, uh, spawned out, you know, raggedy around the edges, then I won't, I won't bother carrying on. But that fish was so plump and just fresh and vibrant. That I was like, yeah, we are fine. It wasn't like fit to burst. So yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm all right to be fishing today. Uh, I don't want to put the fish off spawning at all. So yeah, if I'd caught one, it's a bit like skinny and ragged even. No, I wouldn't be carrying on, but we're not there yet. So I'm happy with that. Anyway, I've got the, the worm back out. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with how I did this, you know. I saw that perch were coming out down here. And let's face it, I'm on furlough at the moment. I could have come down the very next day, uh, but I chose not to. I chose to wait a week give the fish chance to regroup also give the angler or the anglers who caught them yeah give it give them the, the, the juice give them the glory you know don't come jumping down on their coattails i'm uh, i'm not that guy you know uh yeah i don't know what to say i'm in a bit of a daze i'm in a four pound perch club incredible another one. Oh my hat That's another cracker. I can't believe it. <laughs> Just put my four pounder back and I've got what looks like a good two at least. Right, we'll secure this one again, get the mat sorted and weigh it. Got to weigh these fish, but they're too special not to. Oh, they're amazing. <laughs> right, if that last one was four, what are you giving me for that? It's got to be a high two. Mind you, I thought that last one was maybe three pound and it was like four. I'm just saying I've never weighed a free. 
see that? Three pound one, I'll give myself for that. I'm in a different world. That's a three pounder. I haven't caught that four pounder. I'm just saying I've never weighed a three. Three pound one. Oh, that just, this is incredible. You put back a four, you miss one, and then you catch a three. I think last week I was grinding away on a commercial for two two pounders. Right, a couple of pictures and we'll get it back. Ah. And here goes my three pounder. What would have been my official PB. Kicking as well, this is letting them rest in the net. It's absolutely key, off it goes. Oh man. I'm on a different planet today. So I've just put that three pounder back and I'm not in a rush to get my, my rod back in the water. I feel like resting the swim a little bit in between catches is probably a good idea with your specimen perch. But it can be really flighty and just leg it when <laughs> things start getting too much. So the setup, uh, it's my dad's quiver tip rod. Um, he hasn't fished in the UK for a couple of years now, so I'm sure he won't mind. And he's keeping it at my place anyway. Uh, it's sort of like a medium, yeah, medium to heavy, I would say, more, maybe more like a medium, with a two ounce tip. Uh, I went for the two because I figured I might be using up to two ounces of weight today with the wind and everything. But as it happens, one ounce has been fine. Uh, my baby bait runner with eight pound line on. Uh, I thought I'd explain the setup more. I never really talk about the rods and reels much and it seems to get asked in the comments a lot. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm on with today. And then the rig is kind of like a stepped up version of what I tend to use on commercials or what I used to use on commercials when I, when I fished them a lot. Uh, so we've got a running link there, one of those swivels with a little bead on the top, if you can see that. One ounce lead, had a little chuck around when I first started, tried an uh, ounce and a half, that was too much, you know, it's like a bolt on the bottom. Uh, went to an ounce, which was just moving if I cast it out in a current and then came to settle nicely, so I've settled on an ounce. And then a little uh, quick change bead there so I can change my hook lens quickly if I want to. And also it's just a really nice little neat way of connecting your main line to your hook link. Uh, hook link is about 18 inches of, um, this is seven pound, uh, like a match anglers type hook link. Big twizzled loop at the top there. That creates like a stiff boom, pushes everything away from the lead. Also, this opening and closing while you're playing a fish, especially like a perch, which shakes its head a lot, helps to really absorb a lot of those lunges. And a couple of these fish have actually got stuck in, um, there's definitely a snag inside there. I say a couple of these fish, both of them. <laughs> uh, there's a snag on the inside there. I know where it is now, so I will hopefully play the fish around it. But having that twizzled loop, that bit of cushion, seemed to help to get the fish out. Then I've got a size eight. Uh, it's actually a surface fishing hook there. And um, what I've done is I've tied that on with a knotless knot, cut the hair off, and then push a little bit of silicon over the knot there just to keep it from coming back in on itself and closing the gape of the hook. And I like doing that because um, I think the knotless knot is one of the strongest ways of attaching nylon to a hook. Uh, if you tie like a grinner knot or a blood knot or something, it can weaken it quite a lot. So you can get away with slightly lighter hook links by um, using strong knots like, you know, a twizzled loop and a knotless knot there. And yeah, just a big old lobworm as bait. <laughs> Man, um, like I say, I'm on a different planet today. This is incredible. We'll get it back out. Since I'm getting a few bites, I'll see if I can capture a bite on film. If not, whatever. <laughs> Yep, there we go. Brilliant. Oh, hopefully you saw that.
they had probably seen it. Another big perch, oh you're covered in sand. <laughs> so every single one, by letting the fish kind of load up on it I think, I'm hooking them in the corner of the mouth. It's almost acting like a circle hook as they move away. It's coming round and just catching in, in the corner there. Brilliant. <laughs> Another way, eh? Ah, oh, two pounder. Two, four. Two, three, two, four. Two, four, I'll give myself for that one. So we've come four, three, two. Two pound four, get in. But all amazing fish. There we go. If I'm honest, I don't know how many more I'm gonna catch. I've had a four pound already. I'll get a few more though. Ah, oh, amazing. Now for the release of a two pounder. Oh, a bit confused. You're going the wrong way, mate. Turn you around. Nice. Let's see if we can get it back on it. Bit of an odd cast in this wind. That's down. I'm letting the bites develop a bit. I think it was even in the complete angler that uh, something like seldom an angler has let a perch bite for too long or something of that respect. Uh, it's quite a big bait that lobworm and they're obviously big fish so give them a little bit of time rather than strike it any bangs or whatever just let it load up and then lift into it seems to be the way today. If it was a tricky day, I maybe would strike at those little nudges and things, but, but not today. Okay, here we go. I think it's hard to tell in the wind, yep. Bite developing, let it load up. Nope, not that time. Nope. Okay, here we go. And we've got it. <laughs> Easy as that. Oh man. Took a bit of line then.
but that was in real time there you saw me cast and uh, put the camera on the rod that's our fourth big perch of the day <laughs> big perch number four again that hook just lodged in the corner of the mouth there brilliant for catch and release this one does have a couple of marks on its gob there <laughs> I've seen that a few times on perch. I saw it on the commercial as well, where the lips were a bit frayed in that, and I think it's from eating crayfish. Because there's crayfish in that commercial I was on. And there's crayfish in this river for sure. Yeah. That's cool though, right? <laughs> we'll get our weight on it. Another two. Two seven. Two pound seven. Four, three, and two, two so far. Good old Desmond, two, two. Two, seven. Oh, gobby. Blah. <laughs> oh, man. Yes. Well, I think at this point, we just rinse and repeat. Always with the rinse and repeat. We'll have to get in four fish pretty quickly. Uh, it's gone dead. Well, I've had one bite in the past maybe hour or so. I think a lot of that's down to the fact that I've caught fish out of the swim. It's probably disturbed the other ones, perch are a bit like that. Uh, the time of day as well, it's middle of the day now, so it's not a great time for it. But what I'm gonna do to try and encourage another bite is take off my lead and put a maggot feeder on. Just get a few maggots going through the swim, see if that encourages the fish to just have a look my way. Um, if that doesn't work, I might try just dropping in a swim below for a couple of casts, just see if I've pushed down that way. But yeah, if I fill that up with maggots, at least there's a little bit of action going in the swim. Maybe encourage a fish to come to my worm a bit more. The wind is also making it basically impossible to cast from my chair, so I've got to walk down now and lob it out. Okay, we'll see if that makes a difference. Well, finally got another one. Maggot feeder definitely made a difference there. came off, first one to come off. Hmm, don't know. <laughs> Get it back out there. Yeah. In again.
another nice perch for a change. <laughs> Yeah, pretty proud of myself there. I changed my presentation to the maggot feeder. I also changed my hook bait to half a lobworm tip with a couple of red maggots there because bites are going really slowly. So I thought maybe something a little bit more subtle will, will get me a bite and, and it has. Yeah, that's the hook out. So there's my half a lobworm, a couple of red maggots on there. Just for like a target really, because I'm sure the fish are still there. I just maybe needed to change it up a bit. A big lobworm was a little bit obvious, perhaps. There we go, that is a looker, is that one? Brilliant. Oh, he's doing it, go on. Nice, dude. Right, let's get a weight. Yeah, two, six. Two, six. <laughs> Waving around in the wind a bit, but that's two pound six. Awesome. Go down to that blow away. So that's five big ones now today. We're well happy with that. Get in. Okay, two pound six going back. Lovely. Keep racking them up today. So we're back in, the weather's pretty terrible. So I made a decision that I'm gonna give it another hour or until my next fish. We'll see what happens. Okay, and with that, I'm gonna call it a day. We've had, um, what, three two pounders, three pounder and a four pounder I mean I'm just I never thought I'd catch a four pounder today I kind of half knew these fish were down here or somewhere along this stretch and found them in our third swim so just just incredible and uh, if I can ask uh, local anglers if you do know where this spot is let's keep it out of the comments uh, perch are quite a sensitive fish and uh, they can soon disappear if they're, they're, they're hammered but by the time this video comes up it'll be a week's time anyway and you never know they might be spawning by then so yeah just bear that in mind anyway I hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for for joining me the weather is really coming in now in fact there's some rain hitting my jacket so I better get out of here Anyway, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. And uh, yeah, at the moment, look after yourselves.